Sometimes it's hard on me and my wife. We get SSI, but with that little bit of income that we get, we're just barely making it through the process with rent, water bill, and electric bill. But when I see these kids come in, you know, I, my heart turns to them. But uh, other families, man, I'm real concerned about because I know how it is out here, living up in the projects, you know, because I lived up there. You know, it's hard. It's really hard out here for these people. I mean, it hurts when you ain't got nothing to eat. It really hurts. You know, I, I see a lot of people out here today struggling, man, ain't for, like, I've been eating for about three or four days a week and look at them and I, it, it, it hurts so bad. It's kind of hard to explain, not knowing where your next meal is going to come from. It really is. I'm not what used to that, actually, being food insecure. It's not just being hungry, it's the mental part. My name is Marcy DeSalvo. I live up the street. I feed a lot of the kitties in the neighborhood. That gives me something to do. The food bank helps me to know where I'm getting my next meal. And it doesn't that just help me, it helps a lot of friends that in the neighborhood of mine, people that have children. Behind the scenes, the food bank does other things. It brings people together and all. I'm very grateful for what the food bank does. I'm grateful for it all. It all helps. My name is Andrew Wright, and it's been a wonderful thing to come here. Oh, it feels very wonderful to know that I got some food in my house because I have been in there without any food. I'll, I've been getting a lot of meats from here that's really helped me and the vegetables and fruit. I get a little desserts too, you know. Hi, my name is Roxana James. Oh, well, I have two uh, very active boys. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard <laughs> during the summer months because, you know, we're always running out of food at the house. Well, the first time I came, people that worked here were very nice with me. They made me feel like, don't, you know, don't be ashamed of being here. I am 61 years old. Me and my wife, we are we disabled. We are on a fixed income, and then sometimes, nowadays, sometimes you have to figure out whether you're going to eat or pay your bills. And with this, you know, it gives you some kind of sense where you say, no, if I can come here and get so and so, that my bills can be paid. And that is a blessing. As a mother, and you're, I was a single parent, you, you worry about whether you're going to have enough to stretch. I've had the time where I've had to stretch the money. One time my check didn't come on time, and if it was not for this food bank, I'm not quite sure where I would have been. How would I describe the people? I would describe them as caring, loving, people that want to give back. Sometimes people believe that because you go to a food bank, you're either messing up your money or you're not stretching what you're supposed to stretch, but I think everyone needs help. We're all one paycheck away from the street. So if you could step outside of yourself and look into the box, you would realize that you need a food bank just like everybody else. So the food bank definitely helps. So it's, it's, it's just a beautiful thing, you know, at the end of the month where you still can look in your, in your freezer and you still got food in there. Oh, I want to say thank you and it's been a very, very good blessing for me. The Maryland Food Bank rocks and keep doing what you're doing because you really are helping out the communities a lot.